All right, now we're doing 7Q, 4 Kids, Day of the Week, all right? And uh, this is by Al, Al Nineveh, and 84% of people like it. Our task is easy. <laughs> okay. Write a function that takes a date in format uh, day, month, year, string, and return what day of the week it is, all right? So this day will be Saturday, and this day will be Friday, all right? We're going to have fun. So first things first, let's get this into concise syntax by saying const data week equals date, and then we're going to turn the rest of this into an arrow. All right down here, we're going to say console.log so we can easily check test as we go, I should say. And here we go. So first off, let's uh, see what we get. I'm sure we're going to get this, but let's test it out anyway. Date and test it out, and lo and behold, that's what we got. So for me personally, I don't know if this is for everybody else in the world, but for me, since I'm in the United States, I am going to have to change this date into something more United Statesable, right? Because uh, we don't do it like this. We do it this first, this second, and this third. And also, when it's computer dates, this is first, this is second, and then this is third, right? So to do to put this in that order, also we got to get rid of these and put dashes in. So to do all that, what we're gonna do is say date.split. And if you don't know about the split method, uh, it takes a pattern and divides a string into an ordered list of substrings by searching for a pattern, putting the substrings into an array and returning the array. All right, and so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this little uh, forward slash in as the thing we're gonna split it by. So we're gonna say, just like that so now it's splitting it by those let's test it out so i can show you what it looks like now it looks like this so what we want to do is join it back together so we're going to say dot join believe it no 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 first we want to get this in the front and this in the back so we're going to use the dot reverse method reverse and if you don't know about the reverse method believe it or not it reverses an array in place and returns the reference to the same array all right uh, and it, it reverses the actual array. It doesn't make a new array reversing it. It just totally mutates the original array. Pardon me. Just like the split method here. Uh, so now we're going to join it back together. Dot join. If you don't know about this, believe it or not, it joins it all back together by the uh, separator string, uh, just like the other one. So the separator string we're going to use on this one is going to be the dash right there. All right? Uh, and now let's see what it looks like. All right, now it's 1940, uh, June 2nd, I guess. All right, so now that we've got all that, how do we get the day out of this? Well, we got to go a little bit deeper for that. Uh, it's not going to be as easy as just going to the MDN page. We got to go over here to good old fashioned Stack Overflow, getting localized day of the week. Somebody asked how we do this the, the cool way, and this cool guy said, I use date dot to locale string, all right? And so to do that, we're going to have to make use this date constructor right here. If you don't know about that, it's a constructor that can create a date instance or return a string representing the current time. All right, let's go back over here. So we got to make the date constructor and then we got to say dot to locale string. Uh, we don't need to do this. Let's go over to uh, to locale string. Uh, what we need to do, what, what this method does is return a string with a language sensitive representation of this date, all right? So basically what we need to do is have the locale in it. But since my locale is United States, uh, it may be different from yours. So I don't know exactly what's up uh, with that. But, you know, try it out as many ways as you can to figure this out. But uh, the rest of it should be good because after the, after the thing we put here, the locale thing, uh, what we put is the options. And the options we use is this, week, this object with weekday long. And that'll give us the day of the week. All right, so let's do that using all the things we just talked about. So we're going to say uh, first we're going to wrap this thing up in the date constructor. All right, then we're going to say new date just like that, and then let's say dot to locale string. All right, and for mine it's e n u s since I'm in the U S A and it's in English. All right, uh, and then what else oh and then comma and then we're going to have that little object that says week day and then the string that says long 
And let's see what this does. That's not how you spell weed day. What this is? This isn't uh, April. <laughs> All right, it's sun Sunday, and we're looking for Sunday. There we go. Uh, so that looks good to me. Let's get rid of this parenthesis right here. Let's get rid of this one right here. Test it out again. And there we go. Attempt it. Looks good. Submit it. All right. And this one uh, does a little bit of stuff. This one turns it back into, I guess, what we did. And then does something like that. I don't know what this one's doing, honestly. Uh, but the, the big boss of this one did it that way. Uh, this is the way we did it right here. Uh, and then we got my Jinxin. And uh, he did it in another way that's hard to understand. <laughs> but, you know, we did, we did what we could. Uh, let's go to mine. Uh, very much like this one. Best practice. And we'll see you next time.